Next to a big break in a long-running missing persons case in the Halifax area. The RCMP say they have discovered human remains relating to the 1999 disappearance of a young woman from Eastern Passage outside Dartmouth. Investigators aren't saying very much else, but CTV's Bruce Frisco is speaking with a member of Arlene McLean's family who says the sense of relief is hard to express. In a quiet neighborhood in Eastern Passage, Nova Scotia, comes word an old case, a genuine mystery, may finally be at least partially solved. I think Kevin and I both love and miss you with all of our hearts. And desperately need you to be home safe and sound with us. Friends and family held a vigil for Arlene McLean the month after she disappeared. It was September of 99. Just 28 years old, she told her partner she was stepping out and wouldn't be long. She took the car and both vanished without a trace. We got a call uh, last week that uh, they had discovered the uh, remains, which was, how can I describe it? You know, it was good news, bad news, older news, really. Arlene's older brother says it's been a long, painful journey for the family. Both parents died never knowing what became of their daughter. Police won't say where or how the remains were located or even verify the identity. Investigators say they're still working with the medical examiner and the case is far from closed. The investigation is ongoing to determine what happened, what happened with the disappearance and uh, we'll have more information available once uh, we can provide that information. Police say McLean left with only her purse and the clothes on her back, leaving behind her common-law husband, an eight-year-old son, and her immediate family. Get that closure, which is, I, you know, I can't describe how good the closure feels. And although the investigation is far from over, the long-running mystery and the heartache it brought is at least partially solved. Bruce Frisco, CTV News, Eastern Passage, Nova Scotia.